not by overhitting it either. I know the harder you hit those what? shots, the more the top spin stops them going anywhere. Again, that's all right. Well, last night, six. the alarm was going off on Ronnie O'Sullivan's watch. Right now, the metaphorical alarms are going off. Seven. Well, he's opening things up around the black spot here. Taking this red, it clears the black. Now available to both pockets, and this 50. is now a wonderful chance to close this match out. Twenty-two. Twenty three, thirty, thirty one. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. We've made back-to-back -back centuries in the two frames that we've played since the mid-session. Slightly unnoticed, 46. in a way. Forty-seven. He's almost at the point where this frame's also safe. He's got to keep his concentration up and finish the job off, as all champions do. I think it goes comfortably. He's made three or more Just centuries in a match against Ronnie O'Sullivan on three previous occasions as Jeff Trump. Will this be the fourth? Even the most ardent Ronnie O'Sullivan fan. 60. And I include myself in that. You'd have to say their man. 61. Is about to be trumped by the man. Now what happens in this game is all the great players have been dominant, have been the best, and Ronnie still 68. is the world champion. One does not forget. Then a player comes along who kind of takes the game on a next the next level. First example of that was the dominance 69. of Steve Davis, and then Stephen Hendry came along and it changed the game.
Well, that will annoy Judd Trump. He wanted to finish in a, a blaze of glory, as it is. Yes, O'Sullivan does need a couple of snookers, but there's just the faintest glimmer of hope. Taking the blue didn't matter. Six. 58 behind, 51 on, so still two snookers required. Seven. Fifteen. I think Judd will be annoyed that he ended up missing that black. I mean, the match is, is as good as over when that goes in. Ronnie's been carrying on, but I don't think he would have carried on any further. But he's just got a glimmer now, and it is only a glimmer. If he could lay a good snooker behind the pink and get the red by a bolt colour, perhaps the green, then all of a sudden the frame might just spring back to life. He's contemplating virtually the perfect shot here. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 22. Not bad. He's blocked off the right side of the table. If the red was on top of the green, it would be even better. So the chances of Judd leaving a free ball seem slim. When he uses his loaf on this shot, plays it at a slowish pace. But of course, he could hit the red anyway, and that becomes an irrelevance. Let's not forget that in the second frame tonight, O'Sullivan needed two snookers and got them. He didn't win the frame eventually. But he did get the snookers. That though, Neil, should be that. Very comprehensive victory, this. One. I think it's been on the cards, no, not because it's uh, anything to do with the, uh, being a f far superior player, but on the, the current form the two players are in, Judd is a lot the sharpest. Three. I think if Ronnie knuckles down in the new year, you know, he can threaten anybody and maybe win another world title. Five. Equal Stephen Hendry's record, but... Right now, he's not as sharp as one or two of the players he's up against. It was noticeable last weekend against Mark Selby. But tonight is about this man. Eight. Indeed, Neil. The season, the year, has been about Judd Trump. He's walking off on here, Sullivan. Oh the match is Seven. over. And Judd Trump is where he normally is, in a final. Tonight was comprehensive. He defeats the Rocket by six frames to one.